my sophomore year. And, but uh, it was a great call by uh, Coach Lennon. And, you know, we, we work on that path a lot. I don't, I actually don't rep third down a whole lot, but you know, to get the chance to be able to do it and execute it, execute it at a high level is, you know, it just shows the goal. Like, you know, even if you're not in, um, pay attention to the reps because you never know when you might get in the game. Okay, we will go to Mike Griffith and then Jed May. Yeah, Marnie, what was um, what was said at halftime? I know you you're a, you're a team leader. You're a pretty vocal guy that the players around you respond to. What was your message um, that that did you that's printable that that you can share with us that was said at halftime? I mean, just just don't flinch. Like they, you know, they hadn't done much. You know, we snapped the ball over our head. We get gave them a touchdown, and then, you know. Um, we ended up not getting it on fourth down uh, in, this, I think, the second quarter. And then, you know, they just snapped the ball, threw it up. Uh, Jared made a great throw. Uh, the receiver played the ball well. You know, nothing you can do about that, but you just, you know, can't flinch mentality, uh, you know. So, yeah, that's all. Just, you know, next play. Hey, Monty, uh, kind of following up on that, what is it about this defense that can sort of allow you all to take over a game in the second half when you all need to? You know, Kirby was saying, Y'all have a – we're never going to let them in no matter what mentality. Is that what it is? Or sort of what what makes this defense, I guess, take it to another level in the second half? Because, we, you know, we play as a team. Um, you know, it's like we got a guy here, we got a guy here, we got a guy here. You know, we just got a bunch of different, like, guys that are really good football players. And, you know, it helps us when our offense is down. And, you know, we're able to pick them up by, you know, getting them great field positions, setting up field goals, setting up touchdowns, and, you know, uh, like, like I said, like, you know, even when Aziz got his sack without, you know, whatever play was called on that one, without everyone else running the stunt, right, Aziz might not get a sack. So, you know, it's a big team effort. Okay, we will go to Ryan Dennis and then Palmer Tomes. Hey, Monty, like I was asking uh, Aziz, do you hold that over his head that you took one in to the house? And, uh, no, nah, I know, I know. But uh, when was the last time you scored a touchdown and uh, what's that feeling like? Man, I ain't scored a touchdown since I was uh, – Senior high school against Hoover, actually against George Pickens. Then we blocked the punt. My homeboy Jeremy Gard blocked the punt. I picked it up, scored. It was the last time I scored a touchdown, but uh, it was a surreal feeling. Uh, I kind of cried a little bit because uh, you know it was just crazy. You know, it felt like a movie or something. But um, yeah, it just it's just a blessing. You know, being in this position. Hey, Monty, this is the second straight game you've led the team in tackles. You said this is the, that was the first sack you remember since your sophomore year. Do you feel like things are clicking for you this year, more so than they have in the past? I mean, you can ask anyone. Ever since I've been here, I come to practice all the time the same way, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. I always practice hard, and, you know, I'm not the one to chase plays or, you know, try to get on sports center. That ain't, that ain't my deal at all. I'm just trying to, you know help the team win and whatever we got to do to help the team win, that's what I'm down to do. Because uh, I'm, I'm in it to win it. You know, we don't we do not do all these scrimmages and these workouts and these uh, everything else we do, all these meetings, walkthroughs to lose. Like, you know, we in it to win. And that's the that's the first thing on the, on the board is a WRL. So, you know, we're fortunate enough to get the W. Okay, we will go to Jason Butt and then Seth Rainey. Hey, Monty, um, you know, through the first three weeks of the season, is the Georgia defense the best in the nation? Are you asking me that? Yes. Do you believe that you guys are the best in the nation? I mean, that's not really for me to decide. That's for y'all to decide. That's why y'all have media. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we just play hard, continue to play hard, uh, you know. So, yeah, that's all I can do. I don't really get into politics and all that because, you know, I, politics are crooked anyway, so – let y'all politic on that and let y'all decide that. Because, you know, when we give up big plays or don't play as well, it's going to be going the other way. So, it's going to be smiling in your face and stabbing you in the back. So, you know, I'll let y'all do that. And, you know, we're just going to keep getting better. Monty, after y'all uh, lost Tay to the NFL last year, you and, you know, the guys still here had some shoes to fill. How do you think everybody next to you has done this year with some of the younger guys coming there and trying to follow your lead? Uh, I mean, you know, we got, you know, you got Quay, Nate, like nobody in our room suck. Like, you know, everybody in our room can go somewhere else and, you know, be a starter. I mean, you saw Channing at the end of that game. That's the closest thing I've seen to Roquan Smith since he left. So, 
we got guys all over the field. You know, we got a bunch of versatile guys like Quake and pass rush like he, um, Aziz, you know. So, you know, we got a bunch of different guys, and they all good. You know, don't nobody suck. You know, we all got – they all got abilities, and probably all of them, if they're fortunate enough to, you know, not have major injuries or anything, will be playing on Sundays. Okay, we'll go to Lance McCurley. Monty, on that uh, strip sack you got for a score, you kind of looked like Gavin Bellamy uh, on that play. Do you guys uh, continue that wolf pack mentality and that linebacker and defensive play? Yeah, you know, linebacker, you got to communicate, see this, see that. So, you know, it's, it's always big, you know, for a defense to be successful. I feel like the linebacker's got to be the spearhead that. So, like, that's like what me, uh, Kobe, Quay, Channing, Nate, you know, you, you got to take control of the group because – Composure is contagious. So if we freak out, next thing you know, you know, have Lewis seen freaking out, you got a D line freaking out. So it's always important for us to like have control and composure and be calm, cool, and collected. Okay, thank you, Monty. Appreciate it.